Good morning. Welcome to the uh, workshop, uh, first workshop of the week. Uh, it's Monday the 15th of April. Um, pretty dramatic news um, overnight over the weekend. Um, China's GDP was uh, considerably weaker than expected, but the real big news was the fall in gold, the precipitous fall in gold. Um, last week, we fell over $100 in the end, uh, 485 um, so 14.85 we hit um, on Friday night, but the market has fallen substantially uh, lower this morning as well. As rumours about uh, Cyprus selling gold, Goldman Sachs lowering its, for lowering its forecast for gold. Um, just a, a sort of perfect storm of uh, bad news really hitting the market. Um, so um, overall, last week, uh, as I said, gold fell about $100. Crude oil sharply lower as well. Uh, Forecast of slower or weaker demand. Uh, that was off two and a half dollars or two and a half percent. That is, FTSE that was up forty. S and P's we spoke last Thursday about that. That was up, uh, reaching a, a all time high again. Uh, for the for the stats, that was up thirty five points last week. That's just over two percent. Um, the euro that still is benefiting um, from weakness in the euro, in the dollar really. So the euro dollar that was up about one hundred and thirteen points, which is just under one percent. Um, British pound or cable in this in this case um, that was unchanged so um, that was a backdrop of what was happening last week um, poor data in the US uh, we're really looking for, for better data this week I guess um, just to try and support the markets although the markets didn't need much supporting but I still think uh, they look a little bit vulnerable this week as um, the VIX uh, fear and greed index uh, really settles down to the, uh, the sort of complacent greed side of things rather than the, the fear side of things. Anyway, let's have a look at the data coming out this uh, week. Uh, we've already had the uh, GDP uh, number in the U and in China, came out at 7.7%. .7%. We're expecting nearer 8%. So that's reversed uh, what was the first sort of positive signs at the end of last year. Um, for the rest of the week, where well, we've got manufacturing data in the States, this is the first of two reports. This is from the New York Federal District, the Empire State Manufacturing Index, slightly weaker than the previous month. Um, we have in the UK uh, our inflation data, uh, expected to be unchanged from the previous month. The input prices are uh, expected to fall from 3.2% uh, to, to minus 0.3%. That's back on the back of probably falling crude prices, etc. And then we have the ZEW economic sentiment indicator, which is uh, a little bit weak from the previous report. The effects of the Cyprus uh, crisis uh, affecting uh, sentiment there. Um, inflation letter, that's a sort of a usual story of uh, if our inflation rate is above 2%, which is obviously what it will be. Um, we then have um, inflation date data in the States. It's the core CPI we're interested in. That's expected to come in unchanged. Um, then we have Mario Draghi, the president of the European Central Bank, talking at 2 o'clock on Tuesday. That is something that has the potential to uh, cause ripples in the market, so that should be watched quite closely. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we have uh, unemployment claims um, in the UK. We're expecting unchanged there. I've got a feeling we might have seen a, a sort of top in the improvement in the uh, employment uh, outlook in the UK. And then we have the minutes from the MPC meeting, our rate setting committee. Um, majority, obviously, or just complete majority, um, in terms of no change on rates, uh, but the vote on QE is the more important one. Anything that suggests that there's an increased likelihood of further QE will weaken sterling, um, but could help equity markets, obviously. Um, and then on Wednesday lunchtime, or after lunchtime in the afternoon, I should say we've got the Bank of Canada, their monthly policy meeting. Uh, we're not expecting anything from the Canadians. Um, and then on Thursday, we have our retail sales expected to be Quite a bit softer than the previous month. The effect of the cold weather still um, affecting retail sales. Obviously, that's now improved, thank God. And then we have the second report of the week in the US. Uh, the more important one, uh, the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index from the Philadelphia Federal District. Uh, very important uh, district for manufacturing. And that number will be watched closely. And we're looking for an improvement. We do need an improvement in some of this U.S. data, which for the last 10 days has uh, really missed most expectations. Um, finally, um, we then have the G20 meetings uh, starting on uh, 
uh, Thursday, finishing on Friday. But that's it really for the data. Thanks very much for listening. Um, watch that gold. S uh, significant plunge this morning. Um, really, uh, you know, the long-term outlook for gold is, is pretty dire now, I would suggest. Um, that's something we will be watching closely. Thanks very much for listening. Uh, catch up again on Thursday at 8 o'clock. Bye for now.